Hey guys, 7WD Rocks here, and last week, or <clears throat> last week, last night, I got to go to Booker T's uh, Reality of Wrestling Promotions for their first ever internet pay-per-view, uh, Summer of Champions. It was a lot of fun. I had a great time. I was uh, st uh, second, I was row two, seat four. Here's my ticket. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. There's some great matches, and I got to meet two great wrestlers, so I'm really pumped about that. But first, before I show you what I got from the wrestlers, I actually caught a shirt because, um, so when they were throwing out shirts, this the uh, guy in front of me sat up and he was like really tall so I honestly could not see them in the ring throwing the shirts and so I'm just like looking around you know and literally a shirt just comes flying and it hits me square in my lap and it's just like a sign from God I was like oh that's awesome and um I, I vaguely remember it because my nuts still hurt from it landing on me but here's a shirt R-O-W and then it's got its sponsor on the back but it was cool that I got a shirt for free that I didn't have to buy one and uh yeah I'm really glad about that and I saw a great uh, tag team championship match, a great no disqualification match, and a fantastic steel cage match. During the no disqualification match, yes, I'm going to use a toy table to uh, explain it to you. So this guy gets a table, and he sets his opponent on it, and this opponent breaks through it with his body weight. So obviously it's a horribly botched move. So what the other wrestler does is he takes half the table. He's He is just going to finish this match with a broken table nonetheless he sets up the broken half in the table and then he gets power bombed through the tape through like this part and it just shattered and, and it looked so insane it looked like it hurt so badly the like pole thing or like the thing to keep it steady the table up it had to have hit him directly in the back of the head he was bleeding pretty badly in the mouth and uh but it looked awesome and i hope he's okay but it was a great match i also got to see a 450 splash off the top of the steel cage and it was awesome to see that and i, I was really pumped um and let me show you what i got so I met DDP, and he was really cool. He let me hold his belt. If you saw that on Twitter, I got to hold his World Heavyweight Championship belt. And uh, he, we did the picture where, where his hand was right here and then my hand's right here. But for some reason, I did it wrong like this, and he, he told me about it. And so I went like that, and I was hoping my dad got the picture, but my dad didn't get the picture because a lady was taking a picture, and she was standing in front of him. So I thought, you know, crap, he didn't get the picture. But as soon as I'm about to, like, give him back the belt and walk away, DDP grabs me by the head and puts me in the diamond cutter. And I'm like, this is going to be the greatest picture ever. So go back on Twitter and look at that picture because it's awesome. And I got him to sign this. It says, Yo, Daniel. Bang DDP. I think it came out really nice. And uh, the only thing kind of bad about the picture is in the picture he's holding the belt upside down. But nonetheless, still an awesome eight by ten. I really like it. And um, he was really nice. He was very nice to me. He um, you know, told me I would enjoy the show and everything. And he um, looked me straight in the eyes. I I really like when wrestlers do that because I feel a lot of them just shake your hand. Yeah, yeah, sign the stuff. But <clears throat> and then. I wasn't planning on it, but uh, and he wasn't even advertised for the autograph signing, but Devon was signing autographs, so of course I had to get his autograph, and uh, it was free. I caught him at a really bad time, though. He was talking on the phone, and uh, I think he was with his wife because he seemed pretty, uh, not mad, but he seemed sad that he had to hang up. And I, I told him I didn't mean to bother him and stuff, and I was really sorry about that. And uh, I said if he could sign my DVD, and he said he would, and take a picture for free, so that was very nice to him. But uh, I said, I said like, I'm really glad he's back in T TNA. I think he's an awesome wrestler and stuff. And he didn't say anything, so I was just like, oh, okay. But I feel that happens a lot with me when I tell wrestlers something and they don't say anything. But the autograph came out very nice, and one day I'm going to get Bully Ray to sign this. There it is, uh, Devon Dudley right there, and I think it came out really nice. And uh, I'm glad I got to meet a TNA Hall of Famer and uh, a, a great tag team wrestler. And uh, I got to see him wrestle too, and he was he, uh, put on a great match. I just wish I had caught him at a better time. I know that's not uh, his fault. He was on the phone, and uh, yeah, I happened to be waiting in line. And, um, yeah. But uh, yeah, there are my autographs. The Devon Dudley one, again, and uh, DDP. And uh, I had a really good time, and uh, it was a lot of fun. And I highly recommend if you're ever in the Texas area, go see Booker T's Reality of Wrestling show. It's very great, and uh, I enjoy the show a lot. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter, at 7 Rocks. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you, guys.